Okay, I think we're live. I'm pretty sure we're live. It's been 10 seconds since I started the software. I think we're live and we might be live for a bit longer because I was in the middle of doing a little bit of remodeling and kind of changing some things. I'm not sure if I love the look at this point, but whatever. That does not matter. That does not matter, guys. We are here to talk about what is going down. Um, it looks, no, it's not even it looks. There is a new uh, Nintendo Switch model may arrive as soon as um, as soon as next uh, as soon as next summer, next year. Machine specs not finalized, but one option is improvement on the display. Third, I think you meant third party publishers hope new Switch could give clear hint uh, what would happen on 3DS. I don't know what that means. What was talking about there, but. Um, but anyway, so this information, guys, and I know we're going to be repeating the same stuff over and over, but definitely looks like there is a new Switch model coming at the, at the end of 2019. Like I said, I don't even have any warm-up to this or anything. I was editing a video. I was sitting there minding my own business editing a video. I just got done doing some soundproofing. And um, Wall Street Journal is definitely reporting. Takahashi Mochizuki is reporting that. Um, I'll put the link for you guys in the comment section of the video here or of the chat. Um, he's definitely reporting that this is happening. 2019, second half of 2019, um, a new uh, Switch model is coming. So I'll put the link for you guys right there. I wouldn't be doing this if this was just some type of random rumor. It's not. It's Takahashi Mochizuki. It's the Wall Street Journal. This is definitely happening. There's a new Switch model coming in the second half of 2019. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be an upgrade, guys. It's going to be an upgrade to what we already have. Um, I don't think it's going to be a brand new. Like it's it's a brand new Switch model, so it's not it's not like a brand new system. It's not a completely different different generation. It looks like it's an upgrade to. It's like a new Nintendo Switch. That's what it's looking like. It like it's here. It's like a new Nintendo Switch, guys. It's not a brand new like Switch that doesn't play your old Switch games or anything. It looks to me like it's going to be a bit of an improvement over what we had. So, like I said, like a new Nintendo Switch. That's what it's looking like. It's going to be uh, more so than anything. Um, so somebody's saying, "Oh, please, Gen Eight Pokemon use it." I mean, I think it's going to use it by default because I think it's just going to be um, a better screen and probably maybe there's a custom chip in there. I'm not really sure. Like I said, there's not really much to go off of outside of um, just this. Uh, just yeah, maybe a chip revision for security, but they they improve it more than just that though. Um, what they're saying here is that the specs aren't finalized. Um, or anything like that like uh, let me let me get the exact tweet so you guys can see here um, and I will post it from right here so everybody can kind of see what's going on so apparently this is a, it says a new version of Nintendo switch may arrive as soon as summer next year sources say machine specs not finalized yet but one option is improvement on display so I think he, he means like the you know instead of 720p 1080p screen uh, third, I think it says, I don't know what this means though, because obviously he's Japanese, so it's not like the translation is a little off, but, um, third publisher hope new switch would give clear hint what would happen on 3ds line. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, Mr. Snappy Paws says the Ryzen 5 GTX 1070 Ti, LOL. Yeah, that's not happening. Um, I would say a slight improvement, but... Um, it's interesting because this exact this this exact scenario happened about I think a a couple years ago or yeah it happened a couple years ago uh, right around this well actually no not around around this time but it was like I think it was early, no it might have been around around this time but anyway like um, there was breaking news that Nintendo decided like the the pricing and everything of the Switch and all of that stuff so. Or um, the switch would come out in 2017, early 2017. So, so yeah. Uh, you guys retweet the stream. Let people know that I'm streaming. I'll be up uh, taking questions, and we'll be we'll be digging through this. Um, we'll be digging through this. Um, 
more information as we go along here, guys. So stay with me here. Grab something to eat. Get some popcorn. I don't know. It's late to be eating. Uh, so let's let's see if we can find some more information, guys, on what else is going on here. Shout out to Mr. Snappy Paws. Thank you though for the two dollars and uh, or sorry, one dollar ninety nine cent donation. Uh, let me go ahead and get my po let me pop up my chat so I can get you guys' comments because I know this is just out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, don't go to bed. That's this is the reason why I started like I st I changed my schedule to where I stay up later. So it's like, so it's I, I changed. Oh, my hold up, sorry about that, guys. Uh, because I wanted to be able to stay up, even though like I'm tired during the day and like. You know, sometimes I have to sleep. I, I have to take a little nap during the day if uh, something has to go up a little bit later. But I don't really do that too much, though, to be honest. Like, <laughs> that's something that I used to do. But I did take a little bit of a nap uh, today uh, just for a little bit. Um, just so I can stay up just a little bit later because I knew I'd, I'd, I'd be doing some work tonight. Um, just for this night, though. I don't do that always. I usually go to sleep early and wake up, up during the whole day, though. Uh, but just for tonight, I was like, you know what? Uh, let me just go ahead and I'm going to be working a little bit late tonight because I know I have some stuff that I got to do. Uh, just because I have to get everything prepared and ready uh, because tomorrow I have my daughter. So I have to get everything prepared and ready uh, so I can have all day. I can just spend, you know, focus on her. So I'm glad I got this done right now because tomorrow I wouldn't have been able to do much uh, tomorrow. Um, but anyway, um, let's see here. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. Let me try. Like I said, let me try to find some more information um, for you guys. Uh, all right so yeah nothing else so far on t on twitter if you guys find anything let me know um let me see if there's any other nintendo sites yeah okay update they're, they're calling it a rumor they're calling it a rumor um which i guess is more i guess which would be a little bit more accurate but I don't think this is a, I don't really think this is a rumor. I think this is like Nintendo. Everything's calling it a rumor. They're saying new switch model, second half of 2018. Um, so here's what the American wall street journal just reported on, on the new switch model. Here's some details from Nintendo's plans, possibly improving the display. So Nintendo is still debating what new hardware and software features to include in the upgrade and weighing the cost of the features. People with knowledge of the discussion said one option is improving the display. They said the current switch uses a lower end liquid crystal display without some technologies that are standard in more recent smartphone LCDs. Updating the display with these technologies would make it brighter, thinner, and more energy efficient. The updated switch isn't expected to adopt the organic light emitted as, uh, I don't know, how to, diode or OLED. Um, I don't know how to say it. Sorry that I mispronounced that, guys. OLED panels used in Apple Inc.'s um, AAPL 1.22% iPhone X series. Nintendo is looking to release the new switch in the later half of 2019. Perhaps as soon as summer, um, they said. So that is basically what's going on here. It doesn't seem like it's going to be, a com like I said, it's not going to be a completely new system for those who are just tuning in. It looks like it's going to be a new Nintendo 3D situation. Uh, better screen resolution, uh, more features, maybe more stuff built in, maybe more RAM, more pro maybe a little bit more processing power. That's all stuff that in the new Nintendo 3DS had. It had more RAM. Had a little bit more processing power. Um, I just had a better, uh, like I said, I think it was better. Was it better screen? I know there was, they improved the, squirt, the screen. They improved the sound. There was a lot of things that they did to the new Nintendo 3DS to make it a higher quality machine. So that's that's what it looks like. This is going down here, you know? Um, so, yeah. Uh, Deku, Deku says, I uh, hope this is real. It, it's it's definitely real. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be reporting on this if it wasn't real. The Wall Street Journal like this. Uh, it, it's definitely real. Um, and I also predicted that there would be a new Nintendo Switch like introduced in maybe 2019, like we first get to see it. Then I thought maybe 2020 is when it actually released, but it seems like it could be 2019. But they wouldn't they wouldn't do this unless it was real. That's the reason why I say breaking news, you know. Um, I, but I guess I I think I should probably update the title to um, let's see here rumor. So let's go ahead and this is what's good about a live stream that I can it's not a de dedicated video where I already say stuff and it's already edited. I can just sit here um, and I can edit the title on the fly. So here we go. Rumor new Nintendo Switch coming in the second half of 2019 Wall Street Journal. <laughs> so we, we updating on the fly, but I definitely think this is real. Um, first of all, for those who don't know, Takachi Mochizuki, he's... He's not a rumor mongerer type of guy, okay? He's not going around, heck, you know, he's not going around even like me and reporting on different rumors. He doesn't do that. 
you know, when they get information, they'll talk about it. And they're usually pretty, they're pretty solid with their information. So I wouldn't doubt what Takahashi Mochizuki has to say here. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely looking like it. It's definitely real. Uh, but it is, I, we got to update it. I did say rumors. So like I said, I'm glad this is a live stream where I can correct myself and not a set edited video where I have to go back and damage control myself. So here we go. Uh, so let's see your shout outs to Mr. Snappy Paws says 1080p six frames per second, Doom and Fortnite on the go. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, we'd have to, like I said, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You know, let's not get ahead of ourselves and, and say that this is this new Switch model is going to make all these things possible. Like I said, it really could be a new Nintendo 3DS type of situation to where, like, there's not a lot of games that take advantage of the new Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, there are some games that are exclusive, like Minecraft wouldn't run on a regular 3DS, but it runs on a new Nintendo 3DS. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 um, runs on a new Nintendo 3DS and not a regular 3DS. I mean, I think there's, like, another game or two. You know, um, maybe we see some enhancements here and there, but, I mean, to jump the frame rate, you know, by 60 frames and 1080p, I mean, the PS4 and Xbox One, the base PS4 and Xbox One don't even run Doom uh, at 1080p, 60 frames per second solid, you know? So I'm not going to sit here and say that, that this new model, if this is true, is going to do that. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say that when we don't know. So I think we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves if we start going, you know, all the way to, to that, that uh, you know, that far, in my opinion. But that's just me. That's, that's just my thought process. But I'm not going to sit here and, and say that it's going to be like that, you know? Um, but like I said, I think that it might improve the frame rates. Like the new Nintendo 3DS improves the frame rates of a lot of games already released. So it could be like an Xbox One X situation, not the power jump, but like how, or even let's just use Xbox One S. It could even be like an Xbox One S. Xbox One S is more powerful than the regular Xbox. It improves frame rates. You know, it, it upgrades things a little bit. It's got a 4K. Um, it can output 4K for uh, movies and streaming and stuff, Blu-ray players. So, I mean, like it could be even like that small, you know, to where it's something like that. But like, I figured that there'd be a new Nintendo 3DS. Like I like I said, I talked about it. Look at my, my video about the whole Switch new Switch. I have a video about that, like a sw new Switch model incoming where I talk about it. Like, yeah, the new Nintendo Switch is definitely possible and it looks like nintendo's uh putting in that plan for that um let's see here yeah i mean i think they'd improve a lot of the different stuff uh like with the like making it like so it doesn't crack on the back you know and things like that you know um and you know stuff stuff like that like i think that they would improve a lot of that stuff it would become more durable um as we saw with the new nintendo 3ds like the 3ds or sorry even like going back to the ds remember guys like the ds to the ds light it's funny because that got like less durable um i'm not really sure there's like cracks at the top of it uh so and then they then they i think they did like a, a ds xl you know, which is, was more durable and better. So, I mean, I, you, I can see them making it more durable, improving the formula, better quality materials. Um, so, yeah, Direct Feed Games. Uh, Direct Feed Games is... He's saying that new Nintendo Switch Pro is coming late 2019. Usually when something's BS, Direct Feed Games will sniff it out pretty quickly. He'll let you know, like, for example, like the Animal Crossing rumor. He's like, no, I doubt that. I don't think it's coming. You know, so it's something like that. You know, Direct Feed Games is usually pretty good. Nate always has good... Nate has good information. He always does. Um, and he's saying, yeah, Nintendo Switch Pro coming late 2019. He also says, Switch Pro is my label. Only information in the article citing sources is that there will be a new Switch model in the second half of 2019. So there you go there. Um, uh, so so it, it, like I said, it, it looks it looks like a new Nintendo 3D situation. It really looks like that to where they improve. Because like there's a lot of things that they can improve on the Switch, right? Like the back cracking, the top, the vents. Like there's there's stuff that they can improve with the build, the display. I mean, getting that display to seven or to 1080p would be a thing that they need to do, right? Or a thing that they could do. So, so yeah, it, it's, it's, I think it's more of that situation. Um, I, I think personally, like, like D, but even like with the DSi, Nathan Adams says, even with the DSi, like the DS, DSi, DSi had a, a power jump though. That's the thing. A lot of people don't realize that, but the DSi actually had more RAM. Um, they introduced the, the eShop to where you can access the eShop from there. Um, it had uh, more processing power. Not a lot more, but it did. You know, um, there was some, a few exclusive games on the Nintendo DSi, but nothing, nothing, most of the games you were able to play. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's read off what you guys have to say here. 
um they might add native bluetooth yeah native bluetooth would be good maybe you could have native i mean native bluetooth for for uh more processing power maybe you know for built-in voice chat more features i mean there could be all sorts of stuff that they're gonna do here maybe that's when they really roll out everything would be 2019 and that would be right in time right because of pokemon 2019 so i mean 2019 looks to be a big year for nintendo i think sales could dramatically jump even higher if this new nintendo switch model thingy or switch pro we're gonna call it switch pro for right now switch pro is uh is is happening you know at this point so it, it i see all the all the boys are here all the boys are here let's go shout out to the 200 people watching uh let's see here um deku deku says sorry i haven't been as active life has been hectic it's okay man it's all good i'm glad that you're here right now and i understand you guys have lives uh maybe a camera a camera um switch already has a camera on it believe it or not <laughs> it already has like a pseudo camera on it that can detect uh shapes and like when you play one two switch there's a camera on the joy con uh i think you're meaning like a front facing camera um i don't know what a camera does but i mean like why would you need one um but maybe yeah i mean the camera doesn't really it didn't really make a lot of uses on like the nintendo 3ds or like the new like there wasn't really much that like face raiders there wasn't really much that nintendo did so i don't know if they're gonna make take the money to make a camera on there but they could i mean they could um a d-pad no i doubt they're gonna use a deep i don't think they're gonna have a normal d-pad like that i think they're gonna have the same joy cons because they're gonna want the system to still be like the pass a controller you know off to somebody else so if you want a good d-pad i don't know buy a pro controller or something like that or buy one of those 8 bit controllers or something i'm not really sure um i don't think it's gonna bubble more i don't think it's gonna be a major upgrade but even if it was a major upgrade i don't know why you'd be pissed like ps4 and xbox one did did pro models and all that stuff i guess that was a little bit later though but the xbox one s didn't come out too far after the original xbox so i mean i don't understand why you'd be i don't understand why you'd be pissed you you know it's not like it came out like a year like you know like one year later this would be two and a half years later so that would be no difference in the time frame than like anything else but i mean i don't think like i said i don't think they can do a major upgrade in in a year and a half or whatever or two years or whatever the case is it's, if anything like is ps4 pro a major upgrade i mean some people think it's a major upgrade some people don't xbox one x to xbox some people think it's a major upgrade some people think it's a half step so it, it just depends on what you feel what's a major upgrade or not if you can still play all of your switch games on this new system and it still plays normal it's still a switch then it's still a switch i don't think that, like if it's a new system then i can understand why you'd be upset but like if it's like a, a nintendo like an upgrade like a ps4 pro or an xbox one x like i don't think anybody should be upset at ps4 pro or xbox one x you know so that's just that's just my thought process on it at least i wasn't upset when they announced xbox one x i wasn't like oh my gosh an xbox one x is coming you know it's just like whatever you play what you want um camera equals ar games yeah but is nintendo doing ar anymore though like what what was ar what have they been doing with ar um new, new i mean i would think that the yeah like Z, Zeno official i would think that they'd include more space or they at least give you a memory card with it maybe that'd be what they did they did that with the nintendo 3ds maybe like they give you at least like a 32 gigabyte memory card with it and then on top of the 32 although flash memory is really expensive guys so i wouldn't count on there being a lot more memory if there was but flash memory is expensive like even 32 gigabytes more is uh, really expensive and could jump the price up of the system quite a bit like i said even just 64 gigabytes of solid state memory like if, if you look at like what you buy for pcs 128 gigabytes of solid state memory is expensive even if you want only 128 gigabytes of solid state memory so like um doing that for the switch would actually jump up the price a lot like so i don't know i i think it'd just be more cost effective to just give you a memory card like give you like a 32 gigabyte memory card with it that'd be way cheaper like way cheaper we're talking a lot cheaper just to give you a 32 gigabyte memory card with the system instead of doing you know a solid state memory built in um let's see here new switch now built in a phone so you can chat built built in phone so you can chat with your friends. I don't know if they do that. That'd be expensive. <laughs> That'd be expensive. Pokemon AR on the Switch. I don't think they're going to do that. Yeah, I don't see it. New Switch could cost 300 to 400 dollars. I don't think so, Nathan Adams. The reason why I don't think it costs that much, that's way too much. That's way too much to charge for like a new Nintendo Switch. Usually what you do when you do a new Nintendo Switch, you make the product cheaper and then you charge so you can continue charging a premium price or your price that you're at and then you drop the price of your previous model. So that's what Nintendo did before. 
So, like with the Nintendo 3DS or something like that. So, no, I don't think they're going to charge $400 for this thing. Uh, what they're going to do is that they're going to keep it probably like right around, right around $300, actually. They'd probably keep it right around there. And then they would uh, lower the price of the, um, of the regular model of the Nintendo Switch. So that's what I think they would do. Because, like I said, based on this, 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 doesn't, this doesn't seem like it's going to be like a huge upgrade. Mike and Nana joined the Ninja Village. Thank you so much, Mike and Nana. I do appreciate you guys hopping into the live stream here out of nowhere so um so yeah yeah um crazy stuff there crazy stuff there um let's see what's going on here okay uh, let me let me change my display here guys hold up all right here we go i want it more of just a singular line display okay Missed it. Can you repeat? There's, it's in the title, man. Uh, new Nintendo Switch coming in second half. If, do we have any mods here in the chat? Mods, can you guys recap people like what I've said? So it, it, for a mod, can you guys give them a little recap of like stuff that I like little stuff that I've said? Let me continue on here. I, I can't be continuing to repeat over and over and over and over. I've already repeated it a number of times. So if we can get a mod to kind of uh, repeat if anybody's asking questions like that. Uh, let's see here. Um... Uh, let's see here. Waiting for Super Metal Dave to do a, a video preparing himself for disappointment. Um, well, I don't know. That's true. Oh, I see what you're trying to say. <laughs> I see what you're trying because he's going to think that it's... Although, I think Super, I think Dave said that it's going to be like... He said that there's going to be like a new Switch model and coming. So, he's probably going to proclaim that he was right until the system comes out and it's not what he wants. And then he's going to be like... Then he's going to be upset. You know, it's not a... It's not a ps4 pro handheld so <laughs> no i'm joking I'm, jo I'm just joking with you dave i'm just joking with you man um let's see here deadlock 7 says players since earlier rumors indicated that it would have a little more power and some some third parties would only come over to this version what if the model was built for the dock upgrade no there i don't think there's going to be a dock upgrade no i don't think there's going to be any type of dock upgrade um at this point um i, I don't think there's going to be third party developers that only make games for this model of the switch at least not right away maybe two years from now but that would be how power like, i don't think this thing's going to be way more powerful than what we already got so i mean if a, if a game can work on this new nintendo switch then it'd be able to work on the uh the regular switch i don't think there's like split, splitting your split splitting your fan base is never a good thing um we saw with the ps4 pro and the xbox one x i mean xbox one x is a lot more powerful right than uh, regular base xbox but do you see any exclusive games for it no ps4 pro is a good amount more powerful than the regular ps4 do you see any exclusive games for it no, um, you know, like, there's no exclusive games for PS4 Pro or Xbox One X. Heck, the new Nintendo 3DS has more exclusive games for it than PS4 Pro and Xbox One X. And those are a sizable, pretty nice jump, you know, pretty not much bigger than the jump between a 3DS and a new Nintendo 3DS. So we don't see anything like that. So I don't think third-party developers are going to do that, no. Um... So let's see here. Um, three hundred dollars for the Switch Pro and three two fifty for a regular Switch would be great. Yeah, I think that'd be probably what they'd be aiming for, right? Two fifty and three hundred. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Jesse Mercury's here with the raid. Shout out to Jesse Mercury. Appreciate the raid, my guy. Man, you played Mar Super Mario Maker. I, I was watching you for a while while I was editing. So shout outs, man. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Um, excuse me. Um, <coughs> all you want is Madden on the Switch. Oh my gosh, man. Your standards are very low. Uh, but shout outs. If you want Madden on the Switch, go ahead, man. And maybe I'll wait to buy a Switch. Well, if you don't have a Switch at this point, just depends on if you can wait. I mean, if it's coming out second half of 2019, that means you miss, you know, you miss Smash Brothers all the way till then. You know, um, I wouldn't do that. I would just trade it in. Uh, if, if I were you, if I didn't have a Switch at this point, I wouldn't miss Smash Brothers waiting for whenever this thing's going to come out. That's one year of time that you'll never get back on your life. Life is too short to be waiting for, like, to save $50 or something like that, you know? <laughs> to miss out on games. But, Black God, if you already don't have a Switch, I mean, you're already missing out on so much. I mean, you could wait, but I personally wouldn't wait. I personally wouldn't wait because I feel that Switch has some of the best games out on the system. I mean, if you've got PS4, or Xbox One, or if you're not the biggest Nintendo fan, then, yeah, you can wait. Uh, but if you're looking to play Smash Brothers, like, I, I wouldn't not play Smash for one year you know, because it's, it's looking to be second half of 2019. I wouldn't not play Smash for that long in the hopes of a new Switch that might be a little bit more powerful, like a new Nintendo Switch, like a new Nintendo 3DS. Like, I, I wouldn't personally do that. But if you want to, man, that's up to you. But that's just me. You're just asking my own personal, like, me. Um, let's see. Cold outside right now, though. <laughs> Oh god uh shout out uh, says nintendo switch go pocket size switch built in with joy cons no nah, that's not what it's going to be um because they're already talking about some of the rumors saying about the display and all that so if you miniaturize it i doubt nintendo would uh nintendo would do something like that with built-in joy cons 
uh built-in joy cons don't that that defeats the purpose of the switch and yeah i don't think it looks like they're trying to enhance it not decrease it it's going to remove functions from the system when you do stuff like that so no it's not going to be a pocket-sized nintendo switch if people want to take their switch anywhere they can just get a traveling case and take it anywhere people act like the switch is the freaking like an xbox one x size it's portable just bring a case with you and hold it you know what i'm saying like people carry little travel bags little mini packs women have their purses a switch fits inside a purse no problem it fits inside a little grab bag no problem so no i don't see nintendo miniaturizing the nintendo switch not at this point at least maybe afterwards but not with this this looks like it's going to be an upgrade not a downgrade you know not a downgrade and they're not going to take away the main function which nintendo really loves that people detach the joy cons and hand it to someone else and you can be able to play local multiplayer right there if you don't have that, then that automatically puts a lot of games, the local multiplayer games where Nintendo advertises that, at risk. Um, the thing about the Nintendo Switch is that you can play this, you can play the games anywhere that you want, docked or undocked. Not that it fits in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? That's not the main hook of the Switch. Is that if it, it's so small that it fits in your pocket? That's not the that's not the hook of the Switch. That's never been the hook of the Switch. So yeah, that's not it, man. Uh, shout outs to Bryce, Bryce JW with the merch boys purchase. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Uh, bought a player since t-shirt looks like he bought a regular standard black t-shirt he says my boy i love you and your streams and the content you bring your own flair to the news in gaming and i appreciate it and you and, and you so i'm giving uh back to a streamer that gives so much keep it up maybe we can do a collab on nintendo stuff or we can add on the switch yeah man uh bryce dude hit me up on twitter i don't know who you are on twitter if that's your name but hit me up on twitter i'm always down to do collabs um if you've got some subscribers let me know um I don't necessarily do collabs with people like like I said, like I said, it just depends on what like what what type of collab you want to do. But yeah, my boy, let me know on Twitter. Uh, we can see if we can get something done. I appreciate the Merch Boys purchase though. Those are premium quality t-shirts. I know that the uh, I know that the what's it called? The prices are a little bit higher on those. But uh, but yeah, man. Thank you so much. You guys give some love to Bryce with the Merch Boys purchase. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see, a player since, uh, bro, two years uh, in, they make a new Switch, that's BS. Well, it's not really two years in, it's actually two and a half years in. And how is that BS? They did the same thing with the DS Lite, they did the same thing with the DSi, they did the same thing with the all the different systems, 3DS, new Nintendo 3DS, they did the same thing. That's right about that time. That's why you saw a lot of people making videos saying that there's probably going to be a new Nintendo Switch in the second half of 2019 or 2020, like... You know, like that's, I don't see how that's BS. I don't see how, like, if it's going to be like a slight model upgrade, that Nintendo's been doing this since the DS days. They've been doing this for more than a decade. So I don't see, are you, I mean, why is it, I don't understand why it's BS. This is, it's two and a half years later. They're potentially releasing, potentially releasing a new model for the Switch, which is going to a, a slight up, it looks like I said, a slight upgrade. Uh, it wasn't BS with the 3DS. It's not BS now. I mean, this is something that Nintendo's always done. I don't know. I don't know. Why. I mean, that, that doesn't make it right. I guess if they always do BS, that doesn't make it right. But this is something that you should have expected. I mean, if you've been following Nintendo, DS, 3DS. I mean, this is something that they've always done. Even like with the GBA, GBA got a bunch of like, dude, GBA was on the market for four years and got multiple revisions and remodels literally from 2000 to 2004. That was what the mark. That was what GBA was on the market for. We saw the regular GBA. We saw the GBA SP. We saw the GBA Micro. I mean, we saw various different versions of the GBA um, in just four years. Like three different. They're literally doing like a year and a half to be a new model of the GBA coming out. So I don't see why it's. This is not new for Nintendo, man. I mean, this is something they've always been doing. <laughs> um hamad donated two dollars says uh yo oj how you been uh would be interesting to see if this new switch is going to be bigger than the current one can you play mobius um final fantasy ex warrior battle theme for me please thanks bro absolutely i can play a theme for you um so yeah man i mean uh vcp vcipz man I, I see what you're trying to say man but this is something that you really should have known was going to happen like, this is something that, that was definitely going to happen. Like, and like I said, I even said it on my own channel. If you watch my channel, I said, yeah, we're probably going to see, like, a new Nintendo Switch, like, announced in 2019. Or really, it could maybe come out 2019. But I thought maybe early 2020. That's what I thought it would be, 2020. But I'm not surprised at all. This is this is stand, This is is 
business as usual for Nintendo. I mean, it's mobile tech. <laughs> this is something that's always going to happen. And when Nintendo comes up with the next Switch, uh, that's good. Uh, two and a half years later, there's going to be another Switch after that. You know what I'm saying? When the Switch 2 comes out, the real Switch 2, the next generation Switch, expect another new model of the Switch right after that in a couple of years or so. So, I mean, like, that's just that's just standard practice, my, my guy. I can't be mad at that when the... Uh, when it's they've been doing it forever it's just normal that for nintendo mobius uh final fantasy and you don't have to buy it <laughs> you know you do not have to buy it uh warrior battle theme all right let's make sure everything's working good with the music here guys uh let's see there's a lot of i used to play this game oh it looks a lot better improve the graphics was this pc the pc version they're playing anyway let me know how the music sounds guys yeah the graphics are this is definitely the pc version that i'm looking at here let me show you guys real quick have you guys seen this game mobius final fantasy it's interesting. It looks good, though. Look at that. But like I said, I played it on the mobile phone. And it didn't look anywhere near as good as this when it first launched. It looks good. Anyway. Um, let's go back to this. Uh, go back to this here. I, I expected a holiday 2020, but not 2019. Well, what you expect, I mean... That doesn't make it BS because you didn't expect that at the time. That, <laughs> that doesn't make it BS, though. <laughs> That doesn't make it BS though, but just because you you expected it to be later, that that doesn't make it BS. You got to look at the time frames, and Nintendo's done this before. It's not like if you expected three years later, that's not on Nintendo that you expected three years later. Like you know what I'm saying? Like three and a half. That would be three and a half years later. Holiday 2020. That'd be three and a half years later. That's almost a freaking an old school generation. Like four years used to be what, how much it took before new systems came out. So that's almost a four years between a slight upgrade. Uh, you sh you shouldn't have expected that um just like i said once again it's a new it's probably going to be a new bottle guys it's not going to be a serious upgrade guys i don't i don't know why people are scared like this is not new for nintendo let's stop acting like this is new guys nintendo isn't going to release a freaking gen next generation system two and a half years later of the switch it's probably going to be like a it's going to be like a new nintendo 3ds that's what it's going to be like there's no need to start panicking and start flipping out already and outrage calm put your pitchfork down vcipz just Put it down for a second, my boy, and just look at what Nintendo's done in the past. Just look. This is the same thing. It's not going to be some type of huge, massive upgrade, you know, after two and a half years. It's not. You're not. They're not going to fragment their base. They've never done that before. They're not going to do it. The funny thing, though, is that people complained when the new Nintendo 3DS was announced. People, compl people actually outraged over that. So I'm expecting there to be the same type of, you know, silly outrage and stuff. But then when the system came out everybody went out and bought a new nintendo 3ds like the new nintendo 3ds flew off of shelves so i'm expecting the same thing to happen here people to complain and people to be mad and angry before they even know anything and then the system launches like oh this is pretty cool i guess i'll buy one you know what i'm saying so that's what i'm expecting people to do with this one here because people did actually get mad when nintendo announced the new nintendo 3ds believe it or not they did people were like what nintendo's splitting their bombays like oh they, they, they. i was just like i was like oh god here we go again you know out online outrage for nothing. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, my dude, the Warrior of Dawn battle theme. Uh, Warrior is the Warrior is the one. Shoutouts, man. Hold up. Okay, I got the wrong one. You didn't want this one. This is what you said you wanted. You said Warrior battle theme. Oh, this is the Dawn of Time. My bad. Let me see. Warrior battle warrior battle dude I, well you're not clear on which one it is because there's all sorts of weird stuff here man so i don't know i don't based on what you picked that that's what i found here there's a bunch of different warrior themes so i mean i don't i don't i don't know what which one you want man can you be more like hold up because you said final fantasy final mobius final fantasy final fantasy ex warrior battle theme this is what popped up Yeah, it's the same set that pop up. Warrior of Dom theme. That's the same one. That's all that that's all that I got, dude. So I don't know if you Hold up. 
Okay, hold up. You gotta scroll down a bit. Okay, hold up. Is maybe this it? Is this one it? Uh, shoutouts to Carrie. Carrie, uh, 2060 with the donation $5 and says, um, I think I'm going to, I'm going to be the same. I, hold up. I think, I think you meant it's going to be the same size, but the GPU will go from Maxwell to Pascal. Maybe, maybe is Volta. Maybe it's Volta. Uh, I mean, yeah, those are all options, I guess. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, according to, um, according to Wall Street Journal, it's going to be a, um, uh, they're still deciding what to put in it. So they still got time to see what they're going to put in it. So we don't know what it's going to be. Um, okay, so yeah. So basically, okay, here's what DirectFeed Games is saying. So let's go ahead and let's let's put up what DirectFeed Games is saying. Um, so uh, here's the English article about the topic of a new Switch model in 2019, possibly by summer. Summary, Nintendo to release a new Switch model in the second half of 2019. will have a similar form and features as current Switch will play the same software. So there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and click on this here. Um, so uh, Nintendo plans to release a new Nintendo Switch uh, video game console next year to maintain the sales momentum of the device. According to suppliers with other direct knowledge of the plan, sales of the Switch introduced March 2017 are solid but are no longer delivering the favorable surprises that marked the machine's first year. I don't know what that means. Nintendo shares rose rapidly sharp last year, trail, blah, 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 blah. Just a bunch of junk that Wall Street Journal always says. Uh, okay, so let's see here. One option is improving the display. Updating the display to these technologies would make it brighter, thinner, more energy efficient. Okay, we already talked about that. Uh, so then they went into sales. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so nothing really after that. So there's not really much outside of that information. Nate did a good job of cutting out all the junk and just leaving what we actually need to know. So yeah, that's pretty much what it's going to be, guys. It looks like it's going to be a new Nintendo Switch. Uh, that's what they're, they're going to call it. Or not. that's not what they're going to call it. That's what it's going to be. Um, let's see here. Deadlock7 says, uh, sorry guys, there's a lot of comments, so sorry if I don't get to everything. Uh, a slight upgrade would be cool. Um, it will also mean eventually there will be a switch that is around the same power, uh, power as a base PS4. I find it only to be good. Switch is being like phones. Uh, I don't know if they're, I mean, I don't know about that. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know about that, dude, but I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, what revisions would you like to see? Me, I, it'd be battery, uh, Wi-Fi, memory, um, FFs. What's FFs? A slimmer bezel to two more gigabytes of ram to match uh current phones uh well all that stuff would happen right they're probably gonna go with something more energy efficient like the new nintendo 3ds so you're gonna get a better battery life the wife uh better wi-fi i mean i guess they can in i mean whatever with the wi-fi memory nintendo always increases the memory whenever they do remodels like this so yeah you can bet on that um slimmer bezel yeah that's what they said inside here that that's pretty much all the stuff that i'd like to see um just the just you know enhancing or making better the design that we do currently have, you know. So yeah, that's that's what I'd like to see. Um, so yeah. Um, what else we got for me? Um, although I think with the curtains in the back, guys, I need curtains that are a little bit longer. So I think I'm gonna take those back. I'm gonna leave the soundproofing up, but I think I'm gonna take those curtains back. So we're gonna have to delay the the relaunch of the room just a bit. I'm gonna take those back. I'm gonna get black curtains instead. I don't like the gray. And then I'm going to uh, get some other stuff too. But like I said, I just started on the room. So if you guys are wondering what the heck, what's going on with the room. Uh, like I said, I'm doing some remodeling. But I don't like the gray curtains. I don't like how it looks. So I'm, I think I'm going to take them back and get black. And get them a little bit longer. Because they're not long enough. Um, anyway. Um, sounds like a Switch Mini. No, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't really be a Switch Mini. Um, it wouldn't really be a Switch Mini, no. Because the display is going to be. It's going to be a bigger display. From what they said. It's going to be a better, a better and bigger display. So no, I don't think it's going to be a. I don't think it's going to be a Switch Mini. What they're going to do is they're going to make it the same size. They said it's going to be the same same features, similar... They said similar form. So I don't know why you're saying Switch Mini. I just read off here, similar form. Um, second half of 2019. Nintendo isn't going to make a pocket size, like little tiny... You you can't, guys. Uh, you, you can't really do that without making the system really expensive. Like, if it's going to be like this like small, like a mobile phone, it's going to be way too expensive. You're not going to have the battery life that you want. You're not going to have the type of... It, you're not going to have like the joy cons and stuff that you're going to do what they're going to do is they're going to take away um like you guys know uh let me go get my switch real quick guys give me a second okay 
So I've got my switch here. So here's what they're here's what they're gonna do, guys. For those, I mean, because I think some people are kind of kind of struggling to see what this is gonna be. Like I think people are getting a little too like overhyped or overamped for what this is actually gonna be. Uh, what this is actually gonna be, you know? So so yeah. Well, the problem with my room though, guys, is that when I move my camera over for the cam link, uh, the what's it called? There is a little bit of echo um, because it's not soundproofed. So that's that's the reason why I, I want to have curtains because curtains help reduce the. Like doesn't make it to where the, the your voice bounces off the walls, so the sound quality isn't necessarily the best. Um, so that's the reason why I mean curtains and the soundproofing is up. So um, like I said, I'm gonna like I said, I'm, I'm gonna make it better though. This is just we're just doing the beginning right here. So as you can see right here, guys, like they're probably gonna make it to where this screen comes a little bit more towards the edge. You know, higher quality materials. They're gonna make it to see where there's like there's like this thick buffering between here you know what i'm saying they're probably going to make it towards bigger probably going to be the same form but it might be thinner they're going to make it thinner because this is kind of thick they're going to make it thinner and they're going to make it probably better quality and they're going to make the screen size bigger on here they're not going to pocket size it you know not at this point not at this point because then once again battery life battery life becomes into play uh price comes into play there's they're just they're just not going to do it and once again based on here same features similar form all of that just uh you know thinner Probably better battery, uh, better resolution, um, plays the same software. Uh, probably be a slight upgrade. That's what it's looking like. It's going to be a slight, uh, you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, because pocket size is easy travel. <laughs> yeah, it, but also get grabbing a Nintendo Switch case and putting it inside a purse or putting it inside a grab bag is easy travel as well. Like the Switch is, Switch is still very portable. Like po making it pocket size, that's not what... We just saw this right here, similar form. I mean, I don't, but hey, you, look, you guys think you want to set yourself up to be disappointed. Go ahead. I'm letting you guys know right now that it's not going to be a pocket size switch. Like it's probably not going to be that, like a small, tiny switch. There's no reason to do that. That's not what the switch is about. The switch is about being able to take it anywhere that you want, passing a Joy-Con and all that. And you have to keep the same form factor for that, guys. Like I don't, but hey, like I said, you, you guys want to set yourself up for disappointment. Go ahead. Um... Right here, Kid Vitata says, uh, questions, do you, uh, if you do a Switch Mini with no Joy-Cons, you can't play Mario Party. Exactly, exactly. Mario Party will literally become unplayable with uh, a Switch with no Joy-Cons. Like, no detachable Joy-Cons, it become unplayable. Because Switch can't, the, the Joy-Cons, you need them, like, you need to do the, the silly motion controls and all that for, for, uh, for the Switch. So, I mean, so yeah, they're not going to do it. <laughs> that's probably the biggest reason why they're not going to do it literally switch becomes unplayable in, in 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 that form factor like mario super mario party becomes unplayable a first party game um so yeah uh let's see here what else you guys got for me um do you have inside information already no i don't have inside information already but if direct feed games is saying that then that's that but i mean i mean i don't have any inside information that i think is like 100% solid. I have inside information that this was going to happen, but I don't I wouldn't call it like it was like, "Oh my gosh, solid bank on it," you know, but I have used that information maybe to make a video or two, but I don't know any information like more so than what's already been said right here. That's why I I stated like, yeah, like I was very open to the idea of a new Nintendo Switch or something like that, you know, that was going to come to the system or anything. Uh shout outs to Hamad again with the $2 donation, pretty much almost knocking out Streamlabs Shimmy Thank you, man. Almost knocking out Christian. You almost become the stream boss. Uh, almost become the stream boss. So very close. Um, shout outs to you, though. Two dollar donation. It says, uh, "My bad." It's called EX Warrior. Make sure it says EX because there's many warrior jobs in Mobius. Okay, gotcha, man. I think we played it through, though, right? EX Warrior. Um, this was just a warrior battle theme. So I, I mean, I, I played that, man. So I mean, I put EX Warrior, EX Warrior battle theme, and this is what I got. So I mean, I can replay it for you, man. I, I don't know or you can give me you can give me a, a link and a donate like another donation I don't know like I don't know how else I do it but this is this is what I found man so I hope this is it uh it'll be interesting to see what Eurogamer say uh we don't need to see what Eurogamer has to say but I mean I guess so but I guess it'd be interesting to see what they have to say as well uh well try to read uh text made for TV screen on a tiny screen uh haha <laughs> exactly exactly another uh, uh Kimpachi has got it right like I don't I just don't think it's gonna happen, guys, with the whole mini thing type of things. Uh, Ryan says needs to have better uh, better CPU to have better frames per second. Uh, Nintendo's always improved the CPU on like their like I said, uh, it, like new Nintendo 3DS. You know that has better uh, CPU. 
you know, uh, that, and you can get some better frame rates on that. So, yeah, I, I don't see Nintendo really changing anything up from what they've already done there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me, I'm going to go ahead and post that I'm streaming, guys. So, give me just a second. You guys get some more questions for me, please tag me at player essence or hashtag player essence. Just want to put out a tweet that I'm streaming right now, so because I'll, I'll probably be up for a little bit longer uh, streaming talking about this stuff. This is pretty big news, right, guys? <laughs> is this big news or not? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, man. Well, that kind of throws a fork into my content plans. What time is it? It's only 10 o'clock, so I mean, I can stop streaming by around maybe 12 or 11 something. And, uh, I can still get another video done talking about this Switch Pro and all this. So I'll have a separate video talking about it in an edited form and my thoughts, um, and everything. So let's go ahead and let me, let me get this, let me just get this picture, let me get this tweet out real quick, guys. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so we go. Um, what else you guys got for me? He says, I mean, if they got... Uh, okay, Tw Twilly Darkness Dragon EO with the $3 donation becoming the stream boss for tonight. It says support. Shout out to Twilly. Appreciate the support, homie. $3 donation Streamlabs. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that, homie. I really do. Really appreciate that. Um, I mean, as they got the switch pretty much correct, right? Uh, that's true, they did. So yeah, but they didn't. But they got the switch correct before the switch came out, though. So or before anybody else reported on it, like they were the first. So they're not. They wouldn't be the first on this. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Can I post the link here for you? Uh, only mods can post links. Only mods can post links. Uh, have I played Dr Dragalia Lost? I have not I have not got the opportunity to play Dragalia Lost yet. Because I had to work on my Torna review. And then I also have to work on Super Mario Party as well. So yeah, I have not got the opportunity yet. Um, the Switch has nothing on Xbox or PlayStation 4 in your opinion. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. If you think that, that's cool. I disagree. Obviously, I disagree. I think the Switch has a lot better stuff than PS4 and Xbox One. The fact that you can take your Switch anywhere that you want, that's, that's already a huge advantage over PS4 and Xbox One. But hey, if, the, if you think those are better systems, then that's fine. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the Nintendo Switch, you know? Like, I think Microsoft hides their numbers because they're getting bodied right now, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, there's lot there's lots of stuff that goes on that people think one way or another. But I don't see why... I mean, what does that have to do with what we're talking about? I don't get it. Like, what does that matter? Like, who cares what you think about what's better than not? Who cares? Just play games. Have fun, man. I got PS4, Xbox One, PlayStation. My Xbox stays dusty. Stays dusty as hell. <laughs> it's the same games that you have, I have on my PC and the same games that I have on my PlayStation 4. So Switch Switch offers something different. So what's wrong with having multiple systems that offer stuff different? I don't I don't get that. I don't get this type of console war jabroni garbage stuff that people like to push on my life. Sometimes people just come in and start to, like, oh my gosh, you, you told me now, you know? <laughs> like, oh no, you, you told me now. And I guess I guess I'm gonna change my mind. Like <laughs> Anyway, let's get to some real comments here. Um shout outs to Mr. On Demand who subscribed as well thank you so much mr on demand i appreciate the subscription also shout out to twilly darkness eo with another two donation says more support thank you so much man i appreciate that really do really do appreciate that man really do um <laughs> a spelling says smiley face i think he's probably just trolling more so than anything but i i was just think i always think it's silly like when we start talking about these things then people want to come here whether they're trolling or they're not but it's like whatever like why do people come to tell me like I, you know I have more Xboxes and Playstations than all of you guys, right? Like, I, many of you guys probably don't have two Xbox, have an Xbox One. I actually have three Xboxes. I have a regular base Xbox, I have an Xbox One S, and I have an Xbox, and I have an Xbox One X. 
I have a PlayStation 4, I have a PlayStation 4 Pro as well, and I have a gaming PC. Like, people try to sit here and come, like, all I have is, like, Nintendo system, when I probably got more systems than you, all of you guys, you know? <laughs> I have every single Microsoft and PlayStation system ever released, although I gotta do, I gotta buy another Xbox and PlayStation 2, because those ones don't work, but I have every, I bought every single PlayStation and Xbox main system ever released. People don't understand that about me. Like, I have every freaking system. I have multiple Xboxes, I have multiple PS3s, I have everything, so I don't see why people come here to try to say that to me. It's like, I got more systems than you. <laughs> I probably got more systems and games on those on those devices than you. So, um, I've already given away. I've already given away. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm not allowed to say that. Uh, but in the I I did buy a member of the community an Xbox and a PlayStation over the course of a year or so. Uh, but that was a very special situation that I bought people Xboxes and Playstations. We, we'll do some giveaways. I've given away a Switch though. I've given away a Switch on the channel, and uh, we'll probably give away another Switch, and we'll do more giveaways and stuff like that, but yeah. I, like I said, I don't want to say it because this, it's embarrassing for the person, but yeah, I have bought somebody an Xbox One, and I bought somebody a PS4, but like I said, I'm not going to say who. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. Grubby Cannon says, I'm late. You're late. You're late, my boy. Um, let's see here. I am I am tripping. What's going on? Yeah, well, read the title, my boy. Uh, can we get a mod? um yeah i was up yeah jazzy good to see you here why aren't you going to sleep jazzy what are you doing what are you doing up john says uh do you think the switch pro will come in different colors instead of the whole gray i'm not uh, talking about the joy cons i'm talking about the whole switch unit itself uh no nah, man i think it's going to be the same color i think they're going to really do the stuff like with the joy cons that they're really going to move like the whole joy con type of thing uh and just make it to where joy cons are different colors and then the switch the base of the system is just gray um um so yeah that's what i think is going on um let's see what about a red what about a red for mario switch or white like we switch i don't think that i just don't think they're gonna do that i mean like i said what might be wrong though um might be wrong might be wrong yeah late night stream shout outs uh exactly i mean sierra herb has it right uh you know I, I need i need to be able to play south park on hold up no never mind i have a ps4 pro psvr and nintendo switch i'll be buying an xbox one x uh come this holiday because they all offer something worthwhile exactly there you go that's that's what it's all about but i mean comparing it like to xbox and playstation like switch is just something so different like i've never had the same type of feeling like being able to play like a Mario, like a Super Mario Odyssey, or being able to play Xenoblade anywhere that you want, being able to play these big console games that you could never play outside of a TV is just something magical, because 3DS was, 3DS was not the same thing, I mean, 3DS kind of got console level games, but not like Switch, this is like the first time we've seen something like this, it's crazy, and we're not talking about like a GPD, like a GPD or whatever that thing is, that portable mobile device PC thingy, uh, we're talking like a dedicated, you know, home console, or dedicated real hybrid we haven't seen this before so this is something unique man just something unique like you know with the with the switch like i don't have to like i'm gonna have another switch but i have a dock here i have a dock in the living room i can just move the system from one dock to another you know that's cool i like it um let's see here uh just depends some people not are aren't always like first adopters of like the new systems so they might not want to get like a new xbox when it comes out um three different versions of the switch in the next two months uh how asinine is it well you mean like bundles uh well i mean that's some somewhat normal isn't it right like there's always bundles right like microsoft or not my well microsoft releases like a million different controllers but like sony released like ps4 pro spider-man bundle god of war bundle the 500 million unit playstation 4 bundle like they released a bunch of them in like the same time frame or something so yeah i think it's kind of normal you know, bundles like that, somewhat normal. But yeah, I mean, it's it's cool. Uh, you can embarrass me. I have no shame. Uh, <laughs> nah, it's all good. It's all good, my boy. Uh, uh, Nintendo's Toby blasting our wallets right now. Um, let's see. There's nothing wrong. There's, there's nothing wrong with being a big Sony fan. There's nothing wrong with being a big Sony fan or being a big Nintendo fan, being a big Xbox fan. I don't. I don't really care. Whatever you like, you like. Um, just joined the party. What's up? Brought up the whole subject again. News came out or details on this. What I missed. So let's just go. I'll just give you the quick recap because Direct Feed Games has it here. I'll give you guys a quick recap if you just if you're just joining in. Um, <laughs> yo, shout outs, shout outs to uh, <laughs> shout outs to uh, Jose Sanchez. 
Trying to get me a sponsorship with dubs, man. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go. He says, so says, hey, a player says, hey, OJ, Dub owes you a sponsorship. I needed some deodorant and remembered you said this is good stuff. LOL. This sponsorship would come in handy at the Smash Bros. tournaments. Yeah, man. Dub would come in handy at those Smash Bros. tournaments. My boy. Shout outs to you. He's wa Looks like he's watching. Are you at work or are you just at home? Looks like you watching on your uh watching on your PC there, man. So shout outs, thank you so much. I appreciate that, homie. <laughs> yeah, you guys let Dove know. Let Dove know that I need a sponsorship, man. I need some Dove, need some Dove deodorant, unlimited supply. Let's do this. Yeah, Dove's women deodorant's really good too. Men's or women's. It's both good stuff, man. Good stuff. I'm trying to show for those sponsorships. Let's go. <laughs> uh let me go in and let's get you guys what direct feed games had to say here for so the quick recap. Um so Review Tech is saying we won't see a real Switch Pro until 2020. So this is a Switch revision. So he's trying to say, oh, well, there's a separate thing here. You know, like, so it's not going to be a major upgrade. Essentially, what he's saying here, it's not going to be a major upgrade, you know, for this system. Which I don't think it's going to be a major upgrade. So uh, what happens? Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. The, okay, so here's an article about the topic about the new uh, new Switch model in 2019. Probably by summer, summary, Nintendo will release a new Switch model in the second half of 2019. We'll have a similar form and features as current Switch. We'll play same software. So there you guys go. That's the update on here. Um, that's the update. Um, it says, uh, I'm getting it, baby. Player says, it's money. I'll give my old Switch away. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm getting a Smash Brothers Switch, but I'm going to get this new model Switch. I got to get the new the new stuff here. So I got to get the new stuff, you know. Uh, but yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, oh, you're at home? Okay, cool, cool, cool. You're at home. Shout outs, man. Thank you so much for the for the tweet. I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. I uh, really do. Um, what else you guys got for me here? Rich said those cucumbers are still stuck in his head. <laughs> Shout outs to Rich, man. Shout outs to Rich. Uh, let's see here. Um, bring your dub deodorant and gaming competitions. Hashtag stay fresh. Please sponsor. Let's go on Twitter. You guys let Dove know. Let Dove know. Your boy's been your boy's been shilling for some Dove. I need some lifetime supply, some Dove. I need some packs. Let's go, Dove. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, man. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. So what else you guys have to say on this Switch stuff, man? We've been going for about an hour. I can start. I can stop right now and start getting editing a video for you guys for 6 a.m. I can do that, or we can continue going for a little bit longer. It's only 11 o'clock where I'm at, so it's not super late. So I can go for a little bit longer, no later than 11:30 though, because if I can get, I can get a video written up and then get it going, so you guys can have it by 6 a.m. So more of my thoughts, I guess. Uh, minor upgrades, yeah, probably minor upgrades. Probably like new Nintendo 3DS, yeah. Excuse me. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, Treykov says, do you think the Switch revision will be revealed at E3 2019 or at a Nintendo Direct? Um, I don't think they'll do it at an E3, man. I think they'll do it like at a separate event. So like a Nintendo Direct or they'll do it at a, um, like just like a, 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 like an event, just like a thing. Like they did like, the, remember back when the Nintendo Switch was announced? um or not the nintendo yeah the nintendo switch like the first look they'll do something like that where they just said get the first look at the new nintendo switch model coming out in late 2019 like they'll do something like that just like a, a short video or something like that they won't they don't do nintendo doesn't do system reveals at e3 anymore I mean, that's what i've noticed nintendo doesn't do system reveals at e3 because e3 there's too many other things going on they want the whole day for themselves they want everybody to be talking about their system they don't want people to be talking about x y or z game they want everybody to be talking about whatever they're talking about so e3 is not a, is not ideal for system reveals anymore um for the most part e3 isn't um microsoft did one but you know like ps4 pro wasn't revealed at e3 you know um New Nintendo 3DS wasn't revealed at E3. The PS4 and the Xbox both weren't revealed at E3. The base PS4, base Xbox, which wasn't revealed at E3. So I don't think E3 is a place for system reveals anymore. It used to be, but not anymore. Um, so yeah, here. Uh, what about a Switch that plays some 3DS game? That's, that doesn't make sense, no. That that will make the system a lot more expensive. 3, 3DS uses a completely different architecture, completely different type of graphics, and what you have to put inside there. So no, that doesn't make sense. What would be more, what would be easier or better to do would be a th emulation on this on the Switch, some type of emulation, or you could download 3DS games. But unless you want to pay 
way more money for the switch they're not gonna they're not gonna fandangle in a 3ds into a switch that's just not gonna happen and then the screen like the resolution that's gonna look horrible that's gonna look really bad on the switch screen <laughs> or it's not gonna look good uh you have to so yeah no nah, that's that's not a that's not a realistic thing that's like nah it's nah, not a realistic thing um so no um alexander the great says questions you think nintendo will add bluetooth audio support i think that's possible yeah um deadlock seven says persons if they launch in the summer they might do a presentation like the original switch reveal yeah exactly um kid that it says uh, do a prediction of those up updates for the new nintendo switch pro u cube deluxe i don't know what the hell that means dude um cody uh, love says uh players since bigger screen and joy con is what i need bigger joy cons i don't know if the joy con is going to be bigger but uh i don't think the screen's going to be bigger but this i don't think the size of the system is going to be much bigger um I don't know. I think my finger accidentally slipped. Oops. My bad. Sorry about that, man. Um, <laughs> so, oops, my bad. Uh, let's continue on here. Um, the commercial is going to be like the power of uh, the power of the, the spotlight hits the new switch. The Super Metal Dave is probably going to be jumping out of joy right now. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Uh, what, are you, what are you talking about? Sometimes my finger accidentally just it just magically just slides over on some people's names and accidentally hits hits the timeout button. I don't know how it works like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know how it works, but uh, it was it was an accident, my boy. It was a it, it was a 300 second accident. Let's see if you come back smarter or if you just come back just as silly. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Metal Dave is doing a live stream right now. <laughs> is he? I bet I told you he was probably gonna be happy that because like his because like he was saying that this is going to like I think he was pretty much saying that this was going to happen, you know. So you know you know he's you know he's gonna talk about it. <laughs> well, I mean he was gonna talk about it anyway, right? So I mean you know so it's good it's good that's it's good stuff, man. Good stuff. Why is he up? Doesn't the, doesn't he have work tomorrow? <laughs> this man staying up late. This man staying up late. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah, so it'd be interesting. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll rewatch his live stream tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, is he j jumping for joy? <laughs> oh my gosh! Gotta get the news no matter what. Yeah, man. <laughs> Well, I think, like I said, I think this is setting up for disappointment because I think a lot of people are going to think that this is going to be some type of all-powerful switch that's going to get all these third-party games and stuff, and it's not going to be that, dude. Like, if people are going to think it's – people are going to overblow this, like, overhype this. So I think I might have to have, like, a, a calm-down type of title for my video tomorrow morning, like uh, – like a video like 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 this like hey guys like yeah a new nintendo switch is probably coming but don't expect don't expect it to be a massive upgrade you know like I, i'm gonna have to have a make a title like that because there's gonna be people that are exaggerating things i'm not saying that he is but i'm just saying that there's gonna be people that exaggerate stuff you know uh so so yeah so like don't think it's gonna be some type of, some some type of crazy ps4 portable ps4 you know you know don't don't think it's gonna be that um um well see look hold up gromsky gaming like we're not trying to sit here and say that there's a switch pro that's going to be this part that's not what's being reported here that's not what's being reported here guys what's being reported here okay is that there's going to be a switch revision it's there's going to be a new model of the nintendo switch that's that it's not being reported here like oh there's a switch pro that's going to be so much more powerful that's not what's being reported here guys there is no two separate devices. There's just one thing being reported. A Switch model, okay? A new Nintendo Switch model that's going to be a revision to what we have. Not that it's going to be this more powerful super beast console or whatever. That's not what's being reported. So calm down, Gromsky. Like, I don't know why you're saying, saying, hold up, is this real? What's real is that there's going to be a new Switch model. That's what's real. That's it. There's no other thing outside of that. That's the real thing. That's it. Nothing else outside of that, okay? There's not two models, one of them being way more powerful, one of them being slightly, there's, there's, there's nothing like that, okay? So let's just make sure that we're clear on what's, what's, what's going on here, you know? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> 4K. <laughs> well, that's clickbait. 
that 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 that's clickbait. Like, oh, that's obviously a 4K. <laughs> well, technically speaking, the Switch can do 4. Technically speaking, the Switch or the the Tegra can stream in 4K. So I mean, but it's it's I guess it's like <laughs> it's like clickbait though. But then again, I mean, maybe this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be seeing seeing 4K games, but I think he's just trying to get a, he's trying to get his point across. You know what he's what he's trying to say on the live stream. So no no hate on that. No hate on that word. No hate. Shout out shout out to Dave, man. Shout out to Dave. Um, so let's see what else you guys got for me. I hope it's I hope it's the strongest PS4. It's not gonna happen. Um, it's not gonna happen. And no, it's not just the combat hackers. No, Nintendo does things to all. They always upgrade their portable models. It's not just the combat hackers. They can combat hackers doing all sorts. I mean, they've they've done little revisions inside the Switch already. Switched models like to combat hackers. Like no, it's not. Nintendo never gonna. Nintendo's never gonna release a new model of a Switch to just combat hackers. Whenever they do their portable devices, they always do upgrades. They always do different things. Like, guys, once again, I don't know how long you've been following Nintendo glorified potato, but this isn't new a slight revision to a system that's portable is not new they've been doing this since the d they've been doing this since before the game boy the game boy uh the game boy color that was a big deal just to have color the game boy pocket the game i mean there's been ds dsi ds light you know what i'm saying gba gba sp gba micro this is something that they've been doing for a while the gba uh, the, they had like a clamshell gba that had a backlight that was a big thing back then because they used to sell accessories where like you little clip it in there was like a little miniature light for your gba because there was no backlight on the gba like if you're in a dark room you couldn't see like <laughs> you just couldn't see it so like the gba sp had a backlight which was big it was a clamshell design don't scratch your system i mean this isn't new guys this is not a new thing nintendo's not going to release a new system to combat just just to combat hackers they do this they remodel portable systems this is this is standard practice for more than a decade now guys more than a decade this is not this is not new um Let's see here. Um, do you think the Joy-Con will have a D-pad on the new Switch? No, I think it'll be the same Joy-Con. Uh, they were asking some bad questions on, th <laughs> on the 1080p is okay with me. Yeah, I think it's going to be a 1080p screen. I think it's going to be a 1080p screen. Um... Well, I mean, like, guys, like, let's, who, who cares what Dave's saying at this point? If you, if you want to, I don't, I don't really, I don't need, I don't need step-by-step -step updates on what he says. Let him do his live stream. I, I don't really care. I'm doing my live stream. I'm focusing on you guys. So let's, let's talk about what we're going to talk about. Who, who, like, I'm, like I said, I'll watch his live stream later, but you guys don't have to give me updates on what he's saying. Like, who cares? Like, let him do his thing. You know, like, I don't think people are going to be doing updates on what I'm saying, you know, like, so let's just, I mean, like, who cares? I'll let him, let him do his live stream, man. Um, let's see here. Uh, but whatever he wants that's fine but i don't think like i said i don't think this new switch is going to be anything that's going to be to where we get like all of a sudden games that are 1080p 6 frames per second solid no problem like i don't think it's going to be that i mean maybe but i don't know i don't know we have to wait and see guys let's not like i said let's not let's not overblow this let's not blow it out of proportion until we get more we need to get some more information on it you know what i'm saying so um pro yeah when you use that mod when you use pro i don't have pro I put new Nintendo Switch coming, uh, new Nintendo Switch coming in the second half of 2019. Uh, I should put Switch model, new Nintendo Switch model. <laughs> let's re let's revise this as we go. Um, just tuning in, keeping up, um, keep up the stream. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah, we'll keep up the stream. Like I said, I'll probably go till what time is it it's 11 20 so i, I probably want to i want to finish this before 12 because i do have this uh, you know like i said i i do have stuff that i got to do tomorrow so i hope as a metal kickstand uh a metal kickstand would be bad d-dub um so like what if for example the reason why the switch kickstand is flimsy in the way that it is is because let's say it's metal kickstand and it's sturdy and you um and you're putting it to dock and the and it clips on your dock and it breaks or it bends on there the reason why that it's so flimsy is so it could come off because this thing 
could clip. Like if you leave it undone, it could clip on your dock and it can break or it can bend. Uh, so I doubt it's going to be anything metal and it was built flimsy. Um, um, it was built like this on purpose. Um, so yeah, just letting you know, they're probably not going to revise it. Maybe they'll make it a little bit more sturdy, but it was actually built like that purposefully. So it doesn't clip on your dock and break off or cr cause like a stress fracture or anything. So no, I don't think we're going to be seeing a metal kickstand. That's going to make it heavier as well. So no, I don't think we're going to see that. Um, oh, thank you, Alexander the Great. I appreciate that, man. Yep, more Bethesda games happen. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I don't think I don't think this news is gonna make more Bethesda games happen. Um, it, no, it's not gonna be 1440p on the dock in 1080p handheld. No, I don't think it's gonna be that. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think developers are gonna do that. Like I said, I think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Uh, let's see here. Um, Deadlock7 says, uh, what if the games are the same, but they uh, but they get patches or upgraded versions like 4K patches on the Xbox One X? Not for 4K, though. Well, see, that's the thing. It's not, that's not going to happen. That's, th that you're not going to get like a, a 1080p patch. You know what I'm saying? Like improved resolution is something that they can already do. If a game is running in like, let's just say, if a game is running in, in um, 1080p upscaled you know this hardware revision would just automatically let the game run better like that's what i would think it would be like like i said a new nintendo 3ds like the frame rate they don't have to make like a little bit of a frame rate patch or anything like that you know so i don't think we're going to see that i don't think we're going to see any type of where it needs to be patched it's just going to be any type of upgrades or additions or anything it's just going to be it's just going to be there now like a developer can release like a like a, an up i guess maybe like a little update that supports a better native resolution maybe uh, but some of that stuff might already be included in there. Might just already upgrade it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, based on like Nintendo and like the firmware. I don't know more the technical side of that, but it might just be something that to where it runs at a native 1080p. You know, or there might be like a small little thing that they might have to do. But I don't think it's going to be like 4K patches. You know, which do take a little bit of work for those. So I don't think it's going to be as dramatic as as that. But we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Um. Mega Quino says, I think it will have better battery, though, and a huge upgrade on uh, eternal mem um, internal memory, like 64 gigabytes. Here's the problem. Better battery, yes, I think so. I think a bit better battery, yes. A uh, huge upgrade on inter uh, internal memory, eternal. Internal memory, uh, 64 gigabytes. I think that that's tough because th flash memory is expensive. Even 32 gigabytes of flash memory is expensive. I think what's more likely is that they give you a memory card with it. So they give you a 32 gigabyte uh, memory card if that's what you're thinking like i think that's that's such a cheaper option i don't think nintendo will pass that up i think that if they want to give you more memory with it if they're going to go with that plan they're going to give you a memory card with the system they're not going to give you 64 gigabytes of solid state memory because that would be a lot more expensive than just you know giving you a 32 gigabyte sd card with the system so i think that's what they're going to do if they're if they're going to do that if they're going to do that um Let's see here. Uh, Places true. It might just unlock better res or RAM capability. You get similar patches on PC or utilize cores. That's what I mean. Not a big jump. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, exactly. I hope they optimize the charging port on the certified USB type specs so it's not as dangerous as using. It's not as dangerous as using docks. Yeah, I heard about that a little bit ago, but I didn't really like everything that I've used for USB C has worked just fine. So I haven't had any issues. But yeah, let's. I hope that I guess so. I mean, I'm not. But like I said, I don't. I don't know much information on that. But I, I did hear people talking about it. There was some. Uh, there was some news and things like that. You know that people were talking about uh, when it comes to it. Um. Do you expect Nintendo to launch the Switch revision um, with a, bund a bundle with a game? I mean, there could be, yeah, it could be like a Pokemon 2019. Absolutely, that's definitely a, a possibility. Like Pokemon 2019 comes with it, or like a maybe like an Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing comes with it, or something like that. You know, yeah, definitely. Um, a Switch, technically, yeah, it can hold a one terabyte, but there aren't one terabyte SD cards. But yeah, yeah, technically. Um. Nathaniel Ventura says, do you think the revision was coming 2019 regardless of, of or potentially Nintendo might be short of their anticipated 2018 sales goal? Uh, I don't think this has anything to do with their 2018 sales goal. I think this is something that they're already going to be doing. Um, 
regardless, they're going to be doing it. This it's too early to say about their, their, their sales goal. Like their sales goal is for, it's not, they don't have a sales goal for 2018. They have a sales goal for March, 2019. Uh, they have, there is no sales goal for March for 2018. I mean, there's a probably a track that they want to be on, but there is no set sales goal for 2018. There's only a sales goal for 2019. Um, so we have to see how it does over the holiday season. So no, I don't think this has anything, has anything to do with that. If anything, then, you know, they wouldn't even be talking. Well, Nintendo hasn't talked about it at this point, but no, I don't think it has anything to do with, it doesn't have anything to do with that because Nintendo's still going to sell a ton of switch systems this holiday season. Most people aren't going to care about a new switch model. Nintendo's not going to announce anything anytime soon. Uh, if they're going to announce this, it's going to come next. They're going to announce this next year late. This is going to be a rumor, you know, for a long time. This is not going to be proven fact or confirmed from nintendo anytime soon you know so so yeah they're going to continue just selling the switch and they're going to continue selling lots of switch systems like with smash brothers and all that stuff so yeah um do you think this will affect their holiday sales season nah not really not really people who wanted to buy a switch are just going to buy a switch um if it's like a new nintendo like from what it's seen here it's going to be like just a, a slight revision so nah it's not going to affect it really to be honest um uh, now with a switch upgrade will it have vc no vc has nothing to do with a switch upgrade or not i don't i don't get why would it why can't a normal switch do vc there's there's already emulation on the switch system itself there's already classic games on the switch system nintendo isn't going to do a traditional normal virtual console they're just not going to do it you're just going to be able to buy classic games like you can buy turbo jesse turbo's arcade or whatever you know or that turbo arcade you can buy arcade archives you can buy neo geo classics you can buy sega ages like they're just gonna do that if you want a classic game on the switch just release it that way that's what it's gonna be nintendo isn't gonna do it nintendo's gonna continue building upon the cloud or what they got for um virtual console continue adding games to that so you just get a bunch of different classic games they're not gonna do the whole classic game thing you know, every single like virtual, they're not going to do that. I mean, Nintendo did that with the Wii U. All people, you know what the funny thing with the Wii U is that Wii U had normal virtual console. All people did was complain every single week that they're whatever. Game. Like that's all throughout the whole generation of the Wii U. All people did was complain about the virtual console, about how bad it was. That's all people. And trust me, guys, I was there. I was reporting. Anytime that I reported on, you know, what was released this week, all people did was complain about the virtual console on the Wii U. That's all people did was complain about how bad it was and how it wasn't good, how they needed to add this, this, and so I think Nintendo got tired of that crap. I got tired of that crap. Whatever people complain about virtual console. Like, I'm sick of virtual console. To be honest, but that's, like I said, that's just me. That's just me. I'm not a virtual console fan. I've never been in, like I said, for four years, all people did was whine and cry and complain about the Wii U's virtual console. Now Nintendo took it away and now and made it to where it's like, okay, you're just going to get games, games, games every single month. Now people are, like there's always something to complain about. Essentially, people are always going to complain about something with the virtual console, and like so, it's like whatever. So no, th this new Switch system isn't going to make a virtual console appear out of thin air. Like no, there's just gonna there's gonna be classic games released on the system. There's gonna be their thing that's there's gonna be like stuff like Capcom's beat 'em up type of thing. There's just, there's gonna be classic games you can buy them separate or you can buy them whatever it is or get the free games or get the games with your subscription service. That's what it's gonna be. It's not there's not gonna be any. I don't want to give you any hope, D Dub, that there's going to be virtual console traditional like they did before. So I'm just just letting you know there's not. It's not going to be that way. Um, Grubby Canadian says, "Why are people so fixated on VC so much?" But since uh, I'm going to get Smash Bros. Switch bundle, design another. I don't know why people like rebuying their games over and over. I, I I don't know. Um, but people like classic Nintendo games. I think maybe because these games are so great in the past and people just want to play them again, I guess with the Switch, they'll, they're will they willing to disregard the stupidity of rebuying the same games over and over and over, buying NES Classic over and over and over, buying NES Classic over and over. Like, they'll just rebuy the same thing so many times in a row that people just, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't get it. I... I I'm looking at the future when it comes to Nintendo just adding up. You can just play a bunch of classic games included in your price for a year i mean that's way cheaper you know like but hey like i said if people want to sit there you can complain till the cows come home i don't care keep on complaining i don't think it's going to change anything um peter says do you think we'll get more third party because of this no i think that switch sales switch what anticipates on switch sales that, or what, what third party we get is based on if the developer wants to make a game and if the system's selling if the system's selling the developer wants to make a game for the switch then they'll make it if they don't then they don't that's really what it comes down to um, really what it comes down to. Um, uh, the VC thing was a joke. Okay. Well, I don't know when you're, I don't know when you're joking or not. I don't know because people are so crazy with the virtual console. I don't know if it's a joke or not a joke, you know, and people are saying all sorts of crazy things right now online. So I have to make sure you have to realize though, D-Dub, 
uh, since I do reporting, I got to make sure like when I see something and if it's incorrect information, I got to make sure that I correct that, because, especially if, if there's no indication that it was a joke or anything. So I understand that you're joking. But at the same time, we're talking about a, we're talking about an actual report here. You know, we're not talking about like we're not this isn't like a normal, typical like PE live where we're joking around in the Q&A section or something like that. This is actual reporting, you know, and people are trying to ask questions like what this can do. So that's the reason why, like, I, I have to kind of answer things normally. Uh, but if you're joking, dude, I, I get it, my boy. I get, I get that, man. Um, yo, Jazzy. Yup. Get that sponsorship. Let's go, Jazzy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Get that. OJ for Dove. Dove for OJ. Um, let's see here. Panic Button already said that they, they wanted to port for devs. Uh, well, it's not even about they want it. They, they, they are. Like, they already are bringing a number of games. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, yo, what's up, Aiden? How's it going, man? Um, what else you guys got for me, man? Um, uh, people like the legacy. Of course, I, I mean, I like the legacy of Nintendo games too, but I think it comes at, there is, um, there's only so much that I'm going to do. You know, there's only so much that I like these games to the point to where it, it, it like, I repay them paying transfer fees, like doing all this stuff. Like I need a more permanent solution, you know, than what they've normally done on, the switch on the or sorry on the wii u on the wii on the 3ds like we need a better solution their solution isn't very good this solution with the nintendo switch online isn't perfect but i'll take that solution over in the in the long in the long long run i'll take that solution over rebuying games over and over and over and over again paying transfer fees over and over and over again like i will and like virtual console from system to system isn't easy to do obviously there's an issue there because you don't see it on a lot of different systems like you don't see it on ps3 like all your classic games that you had on ps3 you can't just transfer those over to the ps4 like instantly you know what i'm saying like all that stuff so um for me personally i need a i need a better solution and to me at least with this like i said not perfect with the nintendo switch online uh but it's a better solution at the beginning hopefully in the next three years we're going to have a huge library of a bunch of different games you know tons of different stuff and you get to play those for 20 bucks a year i'll take that classic games that's really what it is. Like, I don't, I don't need to have like digital, like every single time, pay seven bucks for Super Metroid. Like, I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> I don't need that in my life. Um. Anyway, um. If I'm replaying an old game, I'd, I'd like a remaster or something new. Well, exactly. Um. Exactly. Like this with the with the Switch. Uh, like. You know, at least I can play like Mario Bros. 3 online. You know, at least that's something new to the mix. I can play that online, you know, but whatever. Um, Getting ready for a stupid rant videos complaining about this news from different people tomorrow since they, you know, come. Oh, absolutely. It came with the Nintendo 3DS. When the Nintendo 3DS got a new model where that was coming. Uh, although a lot of the hate from that came when Nintendo officially announced it. So we won't see anything. We'll, we'll see more. Like, you'll see people say stuff, but then also like you'll see like in a little bit like once there's an official announcement but i mean like i said it's no different from like the xbox one s i think the xbox one s came out the, like 20 like 2013 to 2016 so three years this is two and a half years so i mean it's all relative to the same time time frame um can we get a mod to let let him know on the new switch model what's going on mods you guys can let it let them know there i'm not going to keep on repeating things i'm going to i'm going to answer you guys' questions on this whole thing here um so um little mart says again stopping by to say hi um have fun streaming all right take it easy man thanks for coming out to the stream appreciate that uh so i i, I don't know i guess i'll recap I'll, I'll i'll recap it since there's no mods right now um so basically what we're gonna see a switch uh, a switch revision takachi mochizuki from the wall street journal is reporting that we are going to see a, a switch remodel same same form factor um you know maybe like better display better quality materials better battery life so like a new nintendo 3ds like a new nintendo switch like that's what they're reporting so essentially that um i already i already recapped it so you're good jazzy you don't have to um um I don't, I'm done talking about VC. I, I think I might, I might ban VC. Like I'm never going to talk about VC anymore. I'm done talking about traditional VC. I don't care at this point. If you, like I said, like I said, if you want it, you want it. If you don't, you don't. If do whatever, I don't, I don't care at VC anymore. <laughs> at this point, I'm done. I'm done talking about VC. Uh, it's hard when people are joking through text. I mean, I, I kind of thought that it was a joke because DW likes to joke about things. But like I said, when I'm reporting on things, like I can't, 
you know, I can't, I got to take all questions normally because people see that in the chat and like, oh, wait, wait a minute. Then they might think that might happen because not everybody's going to know it's a joke or not. So if you don't put any indications that it's a joke, you know, um, no LOL or anything, at least like an LOL, you know, at the minimum, an LOL, you know, like then it's going to be tough that I have to talk about it as if you're not joking, at least in this situation. Um, six, 600 gigs, 15 inch screen, 600 gigabytes internal. A 15 inch screen that would be a massive that dude 600 gigabytes internal memory that's crazy I don't even know if that's even possible. Um, the new switch will give you pizza funds yeah man. Uh, let's see here uh, virtual currency like 2K that has a problem <laughs> yeah virtual currency exactly. Uh, different color options. I think there's just going to be the Joy-Con stuff. I don't think there's going to be like actual switch different color options. Uh, this is meant to replace the 3DS. I mean, it could be. It could be. Depending on what they price. Like, the only way that it's going to replace the 3DS is if the Switch base Switch model goes down to like, if they get that down to 200 and this is 300, but I think that's too big of a jump, right? Like, but then again, maybe not. The new Nintendo 3DS xl or whatever that's 200 dollars. a nintendo 2ds xl is 129 so or 150 150 so i mean that's still really cheap so i don't think nintendo i mean yeah i think that they're looking at it they're probably planning ahead but at the same time if people keep on buying like a new nintendo 2ds xl is 150 bucks so i mean if people keep on buying that like, I think Nintendo's just going to just have it around, you know? Um, you know, so, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Mega Queen, you need to give me some pizza funds. That's what I need. Uh, let's see here. 200 to $250 uh, for the Switch model sounds reasonable. It's like, yeah, like the base Switch model, like the launch Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that like YouTube and the Netflix and all that, Nintendo isn't a stranger to being able to add net like a web browser, like a normal standard web browser web browser to a revision. If you go back to the Nintendo DSI, uh remember the Nintendo DS could not connect to the internet, but the Nintendo DSI could connect to the internet via web browser. So <laughs> I mean, it's very possible that this new Switch model, even though the, the regular Switch base model, you can do some really ghetto things for it to hook up to the internet and have a web browser. So you can do it on even on the base model without hacking it with no hacks, you know, uh, but like it's possible that they introduce like a typical one. But the, the regular base model of the DS couldn't hook up to online, you know, no matter what, no matter what it could hook up to online, like the base model, the DS, there was no way for it to go online, um, without hacking it some way or shape or form. And then the Nintendo DSI made it to where there was a web browser. So, um, so yeah. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Um, uh, YouTubers right now are just like, they're, they're, what's what's that gif with uh, with uh, Kermit the Frog right now? YouTubers are going crazy trying to get content ready, canceling all their normal videos for whatever time and doing something different. <laughs> oh my gosh, eleven thirty nine a.m. eleven thirty nine or eleven thirty nine p.m. at this point. Um. Uh. So. Uh, honestly, I feel like the revision might cost 300 to 400 and they will drop the OG switch to 250 and then they'll keep selling the 3DS till 2020. No, they're not going to do No, that's, that's, that's too expensive for a revision. Uh, time lag gaming. The problem with what you're saying, how you're saying, honestly, I feel give me, give me a time period or give me anything that Nintendo's ever done with the system to where they have jumped the price up by a hundred dollars for a revision. And this isn't like a big revision. This is going to be like a new Nintendo 3DS. That's never happened before, you know? So for you to say that it's going to be $350 to $400 is just not something Nintendo's done. 
Um, usually what they do, they, I mean, they've done price increases, but like the new Nintendo 3DS, for example, that went from 189 or 179 to 200. So there was a price increase for the new Nintendo 3DS, but it was a very slight price increase, uh, for that system. And, um, for, to $400 though, that just doesn't seem feasible. That means there'd be a big upgrade. So unfortunately I'm going to have to disagree with that because if you look at all the different models Nintendo's done DS to DSI or DS Lite to DSI or the DSI XL, there's never been price jumps that big. Uh, and that would entail that there's going to be a lot of things changed with it if there was a price shift that big. So no, I'm going to have to disagree based on Nintendo's history and based on the information that we're getting right now, it doesn't seem like it's going to be like a huge upgrade and like, that so no that's probably not gonna happen man um so I, if i were you i wouldn't think that because nintendo hasn't ever done that and the information that we do have that's being reported is more of a slight revision than a big jump so if, i mean like i said you can believe what you want but i mean i think you're gonna set yourself up for disappointment or just to be wrong if you do so because there's nothing that's really pointing to that um it's gonna play the same games looks like it's gonna be like a slight revision uh usually when nintendo does that they want to uh, keep it right around the same price and then drop the lower models, like drop the base models of it so to where they can maximize sales. So I don't know if that maximizes sales that way. Um, but like I said, we'll have to wait and see, man. I will have to wait and see. Um, yeah, they'll probably just stay 300. That's my guess is that they'll stay 300. That's my absolute, like what I would think based on the information that we do have. But like, a, I guess $400, they're not going to jump up to $400. That's just not... Yeah, there, there you go, Jazzy. <laughs> YouTube, YouTubers, YouTubers after the news, YouTubers after the news be like, be like, <laughs> that's, a, that's YouTubers right now, man. Getting ready, getting ready, getting ready for that content. Getting ready for that, that, that clickbait. You guys want me to clickbait? You guys put a, guys put a one, put a one in the chat. If you guys want me to clickbait tomorrow morning, put a one in the chat. I'll put like a, a switch and a 4K and like a buff guy like, oh, screaming in the back. Put a one in the chat. You want me to? You want me to clickbait like Kermit the Frog here? I'll clickbait with the best of them. Y'all want me to clickbait? I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I'll clickbait the hell out of this. <laughs> clickbait him. Hit him with that clickbait. Two if you don't want me to clickbait. Two if you don't want me to clickbait. I clickbait with the with the best of them. But wear the Toby mask. <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't know. I can't bring back Toby yet. It's not Toby. It's not to Toby. Is busy. Toby is busy right now. Toby is busy right now. You know what I'm saying? Toby's busy right now. But you guys are gonna be getting the Toby video very quick, very soon, very soon. A Toby video is coming look forward to the toby video soon look forward to it clickbait like switch force <laughs> shout out to switch force they're doing their channel's doing good man their channel's doing really good so yeah clickbait like switch force i should i should clickbait like them do better do better you know what i'm saying but like i said they, they got a lot of they got a lot of Ganon over there at switch force we got we got Hoka, we got hokage level ninja and, and jonin's here so we good uh by the way oj i'm joining uh, xenoblade chronicles 2 torna uh then the original xenoblade chronicles 2 shout outs man uh, have Birdman rubbing in the thumbnail. The Birdman's always good. It's a low quality. You can't ever find a high quality Birdman rubbing in the thumbnail, though. You can't ever find that high quality Birdman. Maybe I can find a high quality Birdman, you know? Um, two terabyte micro SD cards. Let's go. Uh, two terabyte micro SD cards. <laughs> J Doll love money, man. Aren't you going to be late to work tomorrow morning, my guy? Uh, you're going to be late to work. Tomorrow morning, like I said, oh, once again, shout out to Switch Force, by the way. Shout out to Switch Force. No, no hate thrown their way. Shout out to them, man. They're doing, they're doing the thing. They're doing the thing, doing the thing, doing the thing. Um, what else we got here, homies? <laughs> Next, which will be sixty inches, four K TV, giant Joy Cons attached to an app, be able to stream any game you want for free. Dude, that that's that's the best switch ever. That, that would be the number one switch ever released. That would be the number one switch ever released. Uh, I guess RGT eighty five missed out again. Uh he'll just upload. RGT's fans are really dedicated. He he, he can upload anything and they'll they'll watch it whenever. Will you appear in the next podcast? Why wouldn't I appear in the next podcast? Of course I'll be in the next podcast. Of course I will be. 
I'm a regular member of this podcast. When was the last time I wasn't on a podcast? Oh, the last time was when they did like that record. When was the last time I wasn't on a live recorded podcast? How about that? Um, did RGT ever find his keys? I don't think so. Clickbait will have VR. Oh my gosh, it's Stevie Richards. <laughs> uh, Clickbait works, but uh, but when you're more connected to your viewers, so it's better to have uh, that than just clickbait and kind of cheating your viewers. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna really clickbait, guys. I'm gonna I'll kind of like I'll I'll slightly clickbait troll, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Yay for the podcast. Uh, what will what if the new switch just came with YouTube? <laughs> what what does that even mean? That's not gonna happen. Um. Just Joshin says, I mean, in theory, the new updated Switch could use the same dock and Joy-Con, so Nintendo could just sell the tablet portion separately at a cheaper price for early adopters. I don't think they're going to do all that. I think they're just going to package in a whole Switch and you just get another dock. So, yeah, I don't think, I mean, maybe in Japan, maybe in Japan, but I don't know about in the West. Uh, you should do clickbait. Huh? That, no, I'm not gonna really clickbait. I'm not gonna really clickbait, guys, because a lot of people aren't up for this news. So here's what they're gonna. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. It's 11:46 p.m. I want to make sure that I get this, and then I'm gonna. Um, I got. I got. Like I said, I got. I got stuff that I got to do tomorrow. I already have multiple videos ready for you guys, so I'm gonna spend the next four hours editing. You know, and then I'm gonna get some sleep. So, so you guys will have multiple videos tomorrow. You guys are gonna have, I think, three videos tomorrow, or maybe two, two or three videos, and then we'll have a live stream talking about it again. So if you missed it, if you want to recatch some other stuff. I'll be up, you know, or tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, like tomorrow night or the podcast, the PE podcast, we're having the PE podcast tomorrow. So me and Jordan and Mama Mercy, maybe we'll be talking about it. So look forward to that. Um, So I will see you guys tomorrow. For many of you guys, it's already today, but I will see you guys later. Um, I'm going to work on another video talking about this. Uh, Apologies, guys. It's not going to be webcam where you see me and all this stuff and all that. I'm going to tear down these gray blinds because I think it looks horrible. Um... But anyway, uh, it's just going to be edited normal video t- using NVIDIA and stuff like that. Stuff that I've used before and just voiceover. So just letting you guys know. But still watch it because it's going to be good. I got some other information that I'm going to add that I just saw. But I'm going to hold out for that for you guys on there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys just joining the random live stream. This random live stream will be up in a little bit. So if you want to stay up and wait for it to go live, it will go live in just a bit. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate all the donations tonight. We had a really good night that we came back. I really appreciate all the donations, guys. Appreciate all the the t-shirt purchases and all that. So thank you. Appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you guys very soon for more content. Bye-bye.